Hello folks and good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. Looking at a nice and clean 1991 Sea Ray 270 Sundancer. This is the same hull as the 92 290. Sea Ray just switched up the branding on it. This is powered by twin Mercruiser 4.3 liter stern drive motors. Got the Alpha 1 drives. All appears in good condition. Let's see if I can get in there real close with the camera, show the bellows. Okay. It's got a new Garmin, GPS, chart plotter, and sonar. Some updated LED lighting back here on the swim platform, the navigation lights, and then also courtesy lights on deck. Little bump in the gel coat. Looks to be all superficial. Great overall condition for the age. The full enclosure with camper screens, clear eyes and glass, and nice blue canvas was all replaced a year ago. It does have bottom paint. If keep it in the water, you may want to reapply it. This is normally stored high and dry at a marina. Beautiful anchor. Love all the stainless steel railing for safety in mind. Nice, wide, nine foot beam. Now with the drives trimmed up, you've got a 21 inch draft. Put them down, it's three foot, one inch. If you plan on trailering this or keeping on a boat lift, dry weight is rated at 5,800 pounds. It holds 100 gallons of fuel and 24 gallons of fresh water. Easy access with the swim ladder. We got flush outs for both motors. More safety in mind with the walkthrough transom doorway. Love how open the cockpit feels. Again, nice wide beam. Gives plenty of room for fun and activities. Low profile grab rail at the transom. A lot of this bolster upholstery has been replaced. Really nice bucket seats facing forward. Helms laid out beautifully with all of your accessory switches right where you need them. VHF radio, smooth throttle and shifters, your power trim and tilt, and then also trim tabs. Control the ride depending on conditions. You can see the brand new Garmin Echo Map SV. Really nice color unit there. Wide tinted window for the mid cabin. This is designed to see, sleep six on board. You can see some LED courtesy lighting as well, and some storage access boxes. All the carpet is securely mounted, very comfortable under the feet. And then you've got easy access with three hatches to get down into the engine bay. Grab rails up on the bow. Solid door for the cabin. This slides forward and hinges down. Breaker panel over to the left. This has the dinette table. These 270s either came with a lounger or a table, which I think is very versatile. If you don't need all the tabletop space, this flips up, those tuck in, and you got some cup holders as well. 
great for entertaining. All the upholstery is original and in excellent condition. No tears or stains to note anywhere. Storage underneath this bench seat with three drawers on the front. And then under here is the air conditioner, which runs off of shore power. The rear cabin, currently converted into a bed space. Plenty of headroom, definitely not uh, any claustrophobic feeling. Nice and wide, so if you're tall, you've got plenty of sleeping room. And then this filler cushion pulls out. If you'd like to have wraparound seating back here, if you've got a larger crew on board, everyone's got a seat. Nice job on the wiring of these. You've got your 1000 watt inverter and then battery extenders too. Galleys over to starboard. Good amount of counter space and it's doubled with the stovetop cover. You've got a two burner electric or alcohol setup. Emerson microwave and then a Norcold fridge and freezer. Plenty of storage above and below. And behind this mirror, nice size hanging locker for extended trips on the water. Always good to have a change of clothes. And a massive V berth. Love the natural lighting coming in through the tinted forward hatch. All of the headliner looks good storage along both sides, and then again, nice clean upholstery. And that filler cushion is removable. Onboard head, also a nice size, plenty of room to shower with the hot and cold water sink that doubles as a shower. You can see the hose hooked up. Everything drains through the floor. All molded fiberglass, and then a simple Jadsco flush toilet. Storage above and below, and then some 12 volt lighting. And then if you ever need to access any of your gauges, you got easy access back there. Let's go ahead and open up the engine hatches, take a look inside. <laughs> 